How many of you had any kind of drug in the past 30 days? Oh, by drug, I mean legal drug, <laughs> medicine. <laughs> Did you all know many drugs don't work for those who are prescribed to them? The top 10 drugs in the United States this year benefit on average only one in 12 of those who take them. Yes, you heard right, one in 12. That's great if you're number one, but what about everybody else? Even worse, when these drugs don't work, they still can cause side effects. Take aspirin. One in four of us who take aspirin to reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases are unknownly aspirin-resistant and they still have the same risk of gastrointestinal bleeds, which kill thousands every year. But why? The answer to this question is the power of nature, complexity. Every human being responds to the chemical inside the body in a specific way, which is his or her signature. Just imagine if we would be able to make the human organ or a part of the organ outside the body using real cells and components, tested with different drugs with various doses, and then use the most efficient one on real patient. In this case, we, we are able to predict which drug is going to work with the best efficacy for each specific patient. These organ parts are made on very tiny devices called organ and a chip with the features even smaller than the thickness of human hair. My research focuses on making human lymphatic vessels on these small chips. The lymphatic system's main task in our body is drainage of extra fluid. In a case of lymphatic-related disease like chronic inflammation or lymphedema, the body is unable to collect all this excessive fluid, so one arm or leg starts to swell. In the future, if somebody diagnoses with such a disease, he or she can go to the hospital, they would be able to take the small tissue sample, make the vessel outside the body, test it with different drugs, and then report the best option to doctor to prescribe to the patient. So, remember the name Organ on a Chip. I'm sure you will hear about it a lot in the future. Thank you.